Right now, police are investigating a pattern of mail theft and check fraud in North Suburban Lincolnwood. There are more than a dozen cases of people who say a fraudster tampered with their checks after they mailed them. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas learned it's caught the attention of federal investigators. These four numbers were forged. Jeff Zimmerman doesn't know a Natalie Martinez. So imagine his surprise when he learned a check written out to her drained $4,000 from his bank account. I decided to go downstairs, talk to my wife, and tell her we've got a problem. Zimmerman soon realized that was a check he wrote out, not to Natalie Martinez, but to AT&T for a $125 bill. After he mailed it, someone pasted over that and added a new payee name and a new dollar amount. You can still see his own writing poking out behind the fraudsters, which he showed to an employee at his bank. He looked at it and said to me, so far this year, you're about the fourth or fifth person come to me to tell me the same problem. Zimmerman says he dropped the check in this blue mailbox in Lincolnwood back in August. The Lincolnwood Police Department has taken 17 other reports over the past year, all from people who had their checks altered after mailing them. The department is working with U.S. Postal Inspectors to investigate the pattern. Yeah, it, it's terrible. I mean, uh, just to think about it. Earlier this fall, CBS2 uncovered a pattern of mail theft and check fraud in another northern suburb, Park Ridge. Court records say a Dalton man somehow got hold of a postal key and used it to steal from a blue mailbox outside the Park Ridge Post Office. He was arrested in September, but police say they're still investigating. It is a service that everyone depends upon. Kevin Kosar has studied the Postal Service for more than a decade with the American Enterprise Institute. And it raises in my mind a question of why is Chicago as a whole having so many issues with its mail? The U.S. Postal Inspection Service won't say whether there's any connection between the Park Ridge case and Lincolnwood. It's never happened to me before. You, you, you better watch where you're mailing your bills because this is happening uh, all over now. When it comes to bills, Zimmerman says he's not using the blue boxes in his neighborhood anymore. Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News. Postal inspectors won't go into specifics, but they did say they are investigating mail theft in the Chicago area. As for Zimmerman, he says his bank is also investigating, but for now, he's still out of 4,000 bucks. For more stories like this, download our new CBS Chicago app and look for the section called Morning Insiders.